4.45 in the morning. Oh, time to get my flight to Munich. I hate flying, absolutely hate flying. Um, I was up really, really early in the morning, about half four in the morning, um, so a bit foggy headed as well. I also suffer with vertigo, so, and, and that makes the plane journey even worse. Any slight movements, left or right, um, and then my head goes all dizzy. So I have to sort of crack on through those sort of difficult moments so I can do amazing things like this. Um, this is my first proper one. So let's hope it's good. Hey guys, so I am in Munich, Germany. A massive thank you uh, to Xiaomi for flying me out here uh, to this event. It's the Xiaomi 12T launch event in Munich. Uh, they're also launching other things as well, like the new band, uh, the Mi Band, and the Redmi Pad with a few other things as well. Now today, it's actually uh, Monday, so I've got here today. This is the uh, apartment that I'm in at the moment. So tomorrow is the actual launch. Hopefully I can get hands on with the, uh, the 12T or the 12T Pro, um, fingers crossed, and obviously other devices as well. So we're in the hall, you get a Xiaomi launch bag, which, what do we have in here? Some little teddy bears. Me Buds Pro, pencil and little note paper, and a welcome leaflet. Make moments mega. So I've just got back from the Xiaomi 12T series launch. Uh, now it just wasn't the Xiaomi 12T and the T Pro that was launched. They also launched other products as well. So they released the Xiaomi Robot Vacuum X10 Plus, an all-in-one station, S-Cross AI, advanced LDS navigation, and the other cool thing, carpet detection. So the, pod, the pads actually lift up when it detects carpet. Other vacuums I've used in the past do not do that. That for me is perfect. And these mod pads will automatically lift up when traveling over carpets to ensure that your carpet stays fresh and dry while it's being vacuumed. And obviously it mops and vacuums as well. It has an empty station. There is a place for uh, clean water and dirty water. And in the middle of the compartment is the, the bag for when the vacuum empties itself. So that is one other product. The next one, the Xiaomi W10 wet and dry vacuum. Now there's a couple of these. There's the W10 Ultra and there's W10 Pro as well. Both of these uh, were on show today at the launch. Some great demos of them squirting tomato ketchup on the floor and other bits and bobs and like, I think might have been hot chocolate or some sort of dusty stuff they, they chucked down there. But as you can see in the videos, um, the, the wet and dry vacuums pick them up really easily. Uh, and they've also got their own docking stations in there as well. 
You get an all-in-one base station, 75 Celsius of high temperature cleaning and intelligent dirt detection built in there as well and waste separation like with the water tanks in the base station, clean water and dirty water as well. So it's a three in one vacuuming, mopping and washing. Now one of the standout products for me, obviously the Xiaomi uh, 12T Pro is big, but the new Xiaomi TV. Uh, the Xiaomi TV Q2 series is available in three different sizes. We have 50 inch, 55 and massive 65 inch as well. Unfortunately, I don't think it's gonna be released yet in, in the UK, but they are available, you can buy them. I suppose you could, might be able to import them. But they look great. 4K panels on, on all the series. And we also have Google TV built into them as well. The first Xiaomi TVs to have uh, Google TV installed. And they do look great as well. And obviously some of the features, you get a 3.5mm headphone jack, optical digital out audio output, um, a composite in, one ethernet, two USB 2s, uh, three HDMI uh, with EARC support as well. Yeah, so 4K Ultra HD, uh, only often 60 hertz, but you know, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately not available in the UK yet. Okay, the next device, a budget tablet, a Xiaomi Redmi Pad. The all-in-one pad for fun. It continues Redmi's philosophy of bringing flagship technology to more people, delivering performance, features, and design that exceed anything else you'll find in this price segment. This also stuck out for me as well. Looks superb for the price. Got a 10.6 inch display, 2K resolution, 90 hertz refresh rate as well, buttery smooth, stereo quad speaker setup, and a whopping 8,000 milliamp battery. So the chip is a MediaTek Helio G99, 2.2 gigahertz clock speed. And uh, there's three variations. You get three gig and 64 gigabyte storage, four gig of RAM and 128, or six gig of RAM and 128. And I believe, I think it starts around 279 euros for the base model. Really, really cheap, affordable tablet from Redmi or Xiaomi. So if you are in the market for a budget tablet, you can get that Redmi Pad tablet. I think before October 7th for 279, otherwise I think it goes up to 299 euros, which still is a fairly good price when you compare the specs as well. Next, the Xiaomi SmartBand 7 Pro. Yes, a brand new SmartBand. Wider screen than the, the normal or the previous models. 1.64 inch rectangular AMOLED display uh, with a brightness of around 500 nits. So some of the features include a three axis accelerometer, three axis gyro, uh, also a sensor for heart rate and your oxygen monitoring as well, blood oxygen, uh, which a lot of these smart bands do have lately, but I think it's quite cool that they've now widened uh, the band. Some people might like that, some people maybe prefer the narrower, say on the band six. And another great thing, it's got GPS installed as well. So you don't even need to take your phone out, you can do all the tracking via the band on the GPS. And then uh, if you need to sync it to your phone afterwards. And this starts at the moment at 99 euros. So that's the Band 7 Pro. So lastly, and most certainly not least, the Xiaomi 12T and the Xiaomi 12T Pro were launched officially today. Unfortunately, uh, I haven't been given one, I haven't had my hands on one. Uh, well, I did have my hands on one actually in the launch, you can see, I held it. Um, but yeah, the 12T Pro, so that comes with the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, 5,000 milliamp battery, uh, supposedly 13.5 hour screen on time, depending on the user. Um, 120 watt uh, Xiaomi hypercharge. And they've also obviously tried to ease people's mind about the safety of batteries and stuff because now all these high speed in charges and stuff, how safe is the battery? Xiaomi announced that they've got 42 battery safety features built in as well. Now for the Xiaomi 12T in terms of performance, it's powered by the Dimensity 8100. It has a 5,000 milliamp battery, same as the 12T Pro. Again, 120 watts hypercharge, exactly the same. And also it's got those safety features in there as well. Now with the Xiaomi 12T, you get 108 megapixel sensor. But if you go to the Xiaomi 12T Pro, you get the 200 megapixel imaging system. You get ProGrade 8P lens, OIS, 200 megapixel resolution sensor. In-sensor zoom, 200 megapixel Xiaomi Pro Cut, 
Xiaomi Pro Focus, uh, Xiaomi Mega Knights, and 8K video as well. So they've packed lots of features into this camera system that you can use to your heart's content. Now the Xiaomi 12T Pro is gonna start at 749 euros, or you can go for the Xiaomi 12T at 599 euros. And they both start at eight gig of RAM and 128 gigabytes of internal storage. Great. I think the big difference between the 12T and the 12T Pro that I've seen is obviously they're powered by different chips. So the Dimensity 8100 and the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. They, I mean, have the same charging capabilities. They have 120 Hertz Crystal Res AMOLED display on both of these smartphones, dual speakers and Dolby apps as well. So I think if you want more camera, 12T Pro might be for you. If you're not too fussed about the camera, you're still gonna get great camera quality, uh, but with maybe less features than maybe the 12T is for you anyway. So that's my coverage done. Yeah, last night I got an early flight tomorrow morning. Um, huge thanks to Xiaomi for sending me out here. Uh, it's been great, some great fun. I met some cool people as well, had some great conversations, and the German food is great as well. It sort of feels like I'm still in the UK, to be fair. Um, but yeah, thank you all very much for watching, guys. Any questions, pop them down below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give the video a thumbs up. If you're new, then do consider subscribing, and I'll see you soon. Thanks, bye. Bye-bye.